my guys. It is a stormy, rainy, exciting Saturday night here at the end of the rutted out dirt road in the swamp in Dunallen, Florida. Sitting here, uh, <laughs> sitting here with my dog having trailer fever in the downpouring deluge outside here. What is it this exciting Saturday night? Uh, somewhere around December 16th, 2023. And uh, I really wasn't going to do a video tonight, but I just went over, you know, to my buddy Vegematics channel. Now, for those of you who are are or are not aware of Vegematic. So, I'm not saying he was taking a cue from that little eco pussy over there at that other channel. So, Veg announced two weeks ago that he was pulling the plug on his channel that he's been having running for 12 years, but he has promised or threatened to come back after the first of the year with a with a new channel that uh, his channel has just run its course and is getting stale. Well, this goddamn channel, I've been going for four years longer than, uh, two years longer than Veg. Uh, and of course my channel, th this channel has been stale for at least five years, and uh, so I, I just do what I do for anybody who wants to sit here and listen. But uh, I guess Veg claims that the rant that he put out a couple of weeks ago was his last rant, his last Vegematic rant. <laughs> And my comment, uh, I honestly thought he couldn't make it. I honestly thought he would be back tonight, but he wasn't. So uh, I reminded him of the comment that Richard Nixon, it was 1962, not 1964, when Richard Nixon told the press that they will not have Richard Nixon to kick around anymore. Yeah, so be careful what you say when you're uh, when you're talking about something is the last time you're going to do something I you know so for those of you who may be aware and I'm going to have my own version of this rant over there I don't know how many of you have, have figured out what what went down on that other channel with that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell over there at that other channel, <clears throat> which has been silent for over a month. That last week, I did just kind of an off the cuff rant after uh, hearing my, uh, my, my two favorite Doomer chicks doing that commercial for uh, for Jeff Bezos, uh, uh, you know, last week. So, what I did, I, I put that rant, I, 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 so I hadn't been on Collapse Chronicles for a month. For a month, I, I had pulled the plug on it, it had been done with, with, you know, how many ways can you say we're fucked? So I put this filthy, you know, fucker and fuck the motherfucking motherfuckers rant going on, you know, cause that little eco pussy doesn't use the F word or or anything, that he's been such a nice guy for uh, five years over there. So I put this filthy foul mouth rant out of nowhere over at Collapse Chronicles thinking just uh, assuming it, it was going to get uh, all of this nasty feedback and, 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 and how the uh, subscribers over there were, uh, you know, like, like, like who the fuck is this asshole, this loud mouth, foul mouthed asshole. So I put this rant 
over there on Collapse Chronicles, like, 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 like no rant I have ever had in five years over there. And, uh, well, I haven't checked it, but the last, I, I checked it a couple of days ago, it had over a thousand fucking views. The same rant that, that on Humpty Dumpty Drive, what do I have, like 200 views over here uh, with you guys. And so just for the hell of it, uh, I, I threw it over there on Collapse Chronicles just to see what was going to happen. Well, it gets five, six times as many views. Uh, it, it gets like, uh, I, I don't know, a hundred comments, uh, all, all of these thumbs up, and uh, everybody uh, over there talking about how uh, they're glad, uh, glad you're back and all of this. And, and apparently, it made, it made no fucking difference. You know, all of those fucking years sitting over there uh, he, 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 talking about getting stale, uh, I, I have always enjoyed this goddamn channel more because, uh, you, you know, my, my fictional character is more the real me than the real me is. And so I, I, I whipped out Hambone Little Tail and sicked Hambone Little Tail. You, you know, Sam Mitchell's evil twin, and nobody even noticed the fucking difference. So, uh, I, I don't know what Veg is planning. So, fuck it. Uh, you, you know, the, the reason that I pulled the plug on Collapse Chronicles, well, it, 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 partly because, you know, how many ways can you say we're fucked? But it, as Veg was saying, it was getting stale. Uh, you know, I don't interview people anymore for all kinds of reasons. So all I've been doing for the past two fucking years over on that channel is, is just reading fucking mainstream media doom scrolling stories. And then a year ago, you know, I discovered Medium.com. So I go over to Medium.com and, and, and I read somebody else's doomer porn or I, or I just go doom scrolling through the mainstream media and, and just read these fucking articles out. What the fuck? Go do, do your own goddamn doom scrolling. Go on to fucking Medium.com yourself. So anyway, uh, apparently... Uh, the little eco pussy Sam Mitchell over there at Collapse Chronicles, people seem to like him a little down, uh, just as well. So, uh, I, I, I don't know what's getting ready to happen over at Collapse Chronicles, but I'm just letting you guys know that, that, that fuck this little eco pussy Sam Mitchell. Uh, it, it, I, I mean, I, I, I was totally shocked by the favorable support that Hambone Little Tail got over on my serious channel. So, uh, I'm just letting you guys know, the, the, the Hambone Little Tail fans know that, you know, after the first of the year, that, that Hambone Little Tail is going to take over fucking Collapse Chronicles. Fuck that little eco pussy. No one seems to give a fuck uh, whether Ham on a little tail or Sam is. I was like, what the hell? I, 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 I'm going to have some fun and we're going to shake things up over it. It, 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 it Collapse Chronicles. Uh, and we're really going to be talking about how fucked we are. So you guys will probably be glad to know uh, I was just getting some comment tonight. Uh, where's the doomy news? Like, what, what fucking doomy news? I, I'm, I'm going to take all of this doomer shit. If, if any of you want to hear the doomer shit, uh, I, I'm going to put it back over there at Collapse Chronicles, but it's going to be Hambone Little Tail in the fucking driver's seat. So I don't know what name I'm going to use. I mean, should I? Should I should I keep the Sam Mitchell moniker over there, or, or, or should I just let Hambone Little Tail loose over at Collapse Chronicles? 
and, and, uh, ta and really talk about how fucked we are. Uh, so I, I don't know what my what that new channel is going to look like, but for any of you guys uh, over here uh, who didn't care for that little eco pussy over at Collapse Chronicles. Uh, we're we're going to mix it up a little bit, so anyway, I'm, I'm just kind of plugging that other channel, but, uh, I, you know, just like Veg was saying, obviously this fucking channel has gotten stale as hell. Uh, I'm like a five-day-old bread crust of uh, what's left of this channel. So I, I don't know what I'm doing uh, with this channel. I'm just going to, uh, surprise, surprise, I'm going to pretty much just sit here and talk about my fucking self because I'm a goddamn uh, narcissist. And you're, you're going to be hearing a lot about, uh, as, you're, uh, as you're getting sick of hearing about my love life. So uh, we're going to talk about my, uh, about my love life now. So, I, I, I'm finally on the trail of a little hottie uh, that uh, finally on Pile of Fish have gotten a hold of this woman uh, who we seem uh, to be hitting it off. I mean, you should see the string of emails, but she's very nervous about giving me her phone number. Uh, and, until she knows, uh, you will be absolutely shocked how much she looks like Dulcinea. Now, she's got a little more meat on her than Dulcinea. Uh, but, but anyway, uh, wish me luck on this, and, and, and I actually have met this other woman down here. I guess we're having our second date on Monday. And we're going to go, uh, I told her I needed some artwork to put on the walls of the trailer. So we're going to go thrift shore, thrift shore, thrift store art shopping on Monday. So I'm going to let a, uh, a, a not normie but not doomer chick woman Help me pick out trailer art. She lives in a single wide trailer, not far from her. We, I can't believe she just lives right down the street from me. I didn't realize how close this one was. So she lives in a single wide trailer. So that's our big plan. So, but anyway, the 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 pile of fish thing. Despite the fact that I'm sitting at home by myself on Saturday night, I'm so they're, they're right now just. Within a, what do I have it at a, I think a 50 mile radius of Denellen, Florida, there are 71 women. I mean, online, on pile of fish right now, 71 women, uh, aged 50 to 65, uh, on a Saturday night. And a lot of them, you know, attractive, intelligent women. I mean, they would have, they're, they're all a bunch of goddamn normies. They don't have an interest in me, but, you know, I'm, I'm just looking at this. Like, there's, there, there's 71 fucking women sitting at home, and these are just the ones, you know, on a pile of fish. 71 goddamn women sitting there alone on Saturday night with their thumbs up their asses. Uh, you, you know, looking for men or whatever. I, I God damn, this, this is so fucking depressing. And uh, so I go over there to medium.com, you know, for a little doom scrolling to get away from pile of fish. And what do I find is an article about, uh, a, 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 it was 13 sexual attraction studies that they, that this writer, I can't remember what her name was, but she was surveying 
these these studies on sexual attraction, most of them, uh, why, what makes women sexually a, attracted to men, or what makes men sexually attractive to women, uh, which is not surprising uh, because what makes women a, sexually attractive to men is tits, ass, and pussy. You know, that's the study. What makes women sexually attractive to men? Tits, ass, and pussy. Well, there's a little bit more going into it, uh, you know, that women are in charge. We all know who is in charge of this fucking game. That it's the woman uh, who, who decides, you know what I'm saying, uh, it, it is the woman who is in charge of the initial meetup. Uh, it is not, it makes no fucking difference uh, how attracted the man is to the woman. If, if she ain't attracted to you, dude, you're fucked or well, or, or, or you're not fucked. So I'm going down these, and, 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 and wow, you will be absolutely shocked with, with three of them. One of them, of course, is the smile. And, uh, you know, I never did get braces, and now I've got this shit. So here is my attractive smile that women are attracted to men with nice teeth. So, uh, there you go. Uh, women are attracted to men with nice teeth. It never said there, there was nothing in there about how fat a man is. And uh, it, it was kind of, I, I, I don't know, it was, it was uh, they didn't have a, a, they did not have a study on uh, how, much how big your dick is it, it is attractive to women because the, you, you, you know most women and unless you're at a fucking nudist colony or whatever the, the woman is just gonna have to keep her fingers crossed uh, you know about that so I couldn't find where they've actually done a study on uh, you know about how big a dude's dick is. Uh, now I do remember seeing a study on Vice, however, on Vice News, where what they did was it was not showing photos of men with different sized dicks. That wasn't what the, what the study did is they actually gave women dildos. They, they gave all of these women, I, I don't know where they found the women for the study, and the women chose the dildo that they found most appealing. And uh, unbelievable, it, it wasn't the big fucking you know, monster song dildos like you see on you porn and stuff that uh, that apparently the biggest selling dildos are more reflect you know normal sized dicks. So, you know, not the porn porno actors dicks. So. Uh, that, that, that study wasn't mentioned, the dildo study wasn't mentioned, but they mentioned the, the smile. There you go. Uh, so I am very careful if you look at my profile. This is even before I had these two holes together in my teeth, that you never see my teeth in, in any of my profile photos. So we had the smile you won't believe the absolutely shocking, the absolutely shocking scientific study 
that showed that women are more sexually attracted to tall men. Wow! I, I, I never would have imagined that women uh, find uh, men, uh, you, you know, six feet, it's, it's that six foot line that uh, if, you're, if you're six feet, you get the pussy and every inch less than six feet is that much less pussy you can expect to get over a lifetime. Uh, I don't know if that is the way they judge how big your dick is by, uh, you, you know what I'm saying, the percentage of body height to dick length uh, or whatever, uh, but absolutely shocking. Who ever would have thought, ever would have guessed that women find uh, tall men more sexually attractive than little runts with bad teeth? And now, they had a couple of studies about what men find sexually attractive in women out of these 13 studies, but there was no study that mentioned anywhere, at least it wasn't in this article, the 13, about how sexually attractive men find slim women over fat women. There was, there was no mention on either side of the fence about BMI. Uh, nowhere mentioned, uh, I guess you don't need a scientific study to know that men are more sexually attracted to thin women. Women are more sexually attracted to tall men. Uh, so, uh, height doesn't, you know, my, my ex-wife uh, was 4 foot 10 and 88 pounds, and, and then I remember this chick named Rita, good lord, Rita was, was she 6'2 or 6 foot 4? I, when I was fucking her, I felt like a little bug climbing up on her, you know, my feet were, 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 were like kicking her in the middle of her shins when we were fucking. I, I remember that, that her feet were sticking out of the, uh, in, in the pup tent. Uh, we were on spring break somewhere down in Fort Lauderdale, uh, fucking in my little pup tent, and her feet were sticking out of the goddamn, I, I, you know, I, I, I could give a shit, uh, but I do, I, you know, I prefer the, the short girls, but uh, n nothing about height in women. Uh, that was surprising. That number 13 was, was another shocking one. Uh, bringing up the end after the good smile and uh, being tall, being tall with good teeth, you're on your way to getting some pussy from a slim woman. Uh, the last one mentioned was being a good dancer. I need to, I'm getting suspicious about this camera. It's still so uh, absolutely shocking. Being a good dancer. And I just told this story, but I, I, I'm going to tell it again. So, of course. It, you know, I lived in South Austin, Texas for uh, 10 or 11 years. I lived in South Austin, Texas, where the epicenter of the South Austin music scene was the Continental Club uh, on South Congress Avenue, rocking South Austin since 1957 is, you know, ground zero for the for that South Austin, uh, whatever you call that sound. And I remember this dude, I can't remember his name. 
can't remember his name, but he was a great guy. Do you remember Uncle Fester? Was Uncle Fester the Munsters of the Adams family? I which one was Uncle? I think he was the Adams family. But do you know the short, little bald-headed guy? That weird little short bald-headed guy. Well, this guy was a dead ringer for Uncle Fester. He was about five foot five, bald-headed, pudgy, but the dude. I mean, when he hit the dance floor, he was the king of the Continental Club, and uh, I, I, I remember uh, Fester. Uh, I'll just call him Fester, uh, you, you know, telling me, like, like Hambo, you have got to learn to dance. He, I remember saying, he, he goes, dude, do you have any idea how much of this fine-looking South Austin pussy I get? He goes, look at me. Look at me, Hambo. And, and uh, he goes, do you have any fucking idea? He, he goes, I fucked every one of these little hotties in this room because I can dance for no other reason. And, uh, you know, he was always uh, telling me, uh, like, like, dude, just learn to fucking dance. So anyway, of course, I never did learn to dance. So I'm living in South Austin, Texas, and uh, that's a whole other story about a pile of fish date that I had when I went to take dance lessons with this chick. That's what we did on our first date was uh, she wanted to learn to do this Texas two-step thing. and. Anyway, so we go to our, 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 our first dance class and I go into the dance class and, with one, and within one minute I have a panic attack and run out and get my money back. I mean, it was expensive, like 200 bucks that she and I paid, and, you know, that we were going to learn to be dance partners together. And I spent one fucking minute in the class. I ran out and got my $200 back. Well, she did the whole class. She was ready to kill me when she comes back. And she goes, what the fuck happened to you? And I said, I panicked. I said, obviously, I'm never going to learn to do this. And, uh, and she goes, well, what, you quit the class? And I said, yeah. And, and, and she goes, you just lost that, that money? And I said, no. I, I went and got my fucking money back. And, and she goes, oh. She goes, well, well, dude, you know, this was our first and only date. And, and, and she goes, well, fuck it. If you're not coming back to these classes, I'm going to go get my money back. So she goes up, you know, to the desk at the dance studio, tries to get her fucking money back. And the woman who had just given me the $200 back was a lady, what the fuck are you talking about? You just took the first lesson. And, and, and she said, well, you gave this guy his money back. And she said, well, he was in there for like 30 seconds and, and, and came back. Uh, you know, because you've been in there for a full fucking hour. I'm not giving you your fucking money back. Well, anyway, that was the end of that girl. But uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. So... Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm in the Continental Club. It is a Saturday night, and the Continental Club in Wayne the Train Hancock is on stage. Saturday night, Continental Club, Wayne the Train Hancock on stage, and you know, the dance floor is packed, and uh, I'm over there all off to the side, uh, you know, nursing my Long Island iced tea, watching all of these other men dance with these beautiful women. Fucking door of the Continental Club opens, and who walks in is this chick named Jane Bond. Jane Bond. So I was 40, 
How old was I? I was probably about 43. Well, Jane Bond was about 23. Well, this little hottie, she was a singer. She, she actually came from Boston, showed up in Austin, from Boston, out of fucking nowhere, and this little hottie took over that town. Pissed off all the little local cowgirls. Uh, and, you know, so Jane Bond, this absolute little hottie, you might be able to find her on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know if she was this real flash in the pan. She lasted in Austin about three years. This was in the early 2000s, and then she just disappeared. She, she showed up out of nowhere and then, then just disappeared and made this big splash when she was there. Damn good singer. Hot as hell. Uh, I, I was one of her big fans, as, as every man in South Austin was. Fucking door open Saturday night in the continent. I don't know why she didn't have a gig that night. Jane Bond all alone by herself, probably 10 o'clock on a Saturday night, walks into the Continental Club with Wayne the Train Hancock, a pack, every man's eye in the Continental Club is riveted on the Queen of South Austin. And Jane walks in and she's got this, uh, this, this big, cow skin purse. It was literally her purse was made of a, of a Holstein cow hide. You know, with the hair still on it, with the black and white hair. A, you know, this badass looking, uh, looking purse. She always wore these boots up to her knee and she wore fishnet stockings and a mini skirt and usually some little rhinestone vest or whatever, her little cowboy hat on top of her head, her damn uh, cow skin purse uh, hanging, off her, uh, hanging off her arm. So she comes through the Continental Club, every damn man, just like, please, 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 pick me, pick me, pick me. And, and, and I, I, I'm just lusting, I might say. I, I knew that Jane Bond uh, was, uh, had no interest in me. So there's probably 200 men watching Jane Bond in the Continental Club, Saturday night, Wayne the Train Hancock on stage. She walks up to me. <laughs> she picks me out of the whole fucking crowd, looking at all of these men, taller than me, better teeth than me. She goes around making her pick. She walks right up to me and goes, let's dance, honey. She had a, she had a Boston accent, but uh, anyway, so however, uh, let's dance, honey. And she's standing there, Jane Bond is looking at me on Saturday night saying she wants to have a dance with him on Little Tail. This is every man's dream in South Austin. This is, you can't imagine what this would mean to most men. All right, so I'm there. Yes, Little Dog? So Jane Bond is uh, asking me to dance. And I said, Jane, yes? I, I said, Jane, I don't dance. <laughs> and she looks at me and she goes, what? You don't dance? And, and, and I said, darling, I'm sorry, I, I don't dance. And she kind of steps back from me. And she goes, well, could you hold my purse? Bam! And 
and she slams her damn uh, purse into my chest and, and uh, grabs the guy next to me and uh, and wheels him out on the damn dance floor. Oh God, the uh, the howls of derision uh, from my buddies. Uh, <laughs> And there I was, uh, holding Jane Bond's purse uh, on the floor of the Continental Club while she was two-stepping around with all these other guys. I can't even remember when she came back to get her purse. So I held Jane Bond's purse. I can say that, uh, that I did hold Queen Jane's purse at the Wayne the Train Hancock show on a Saturday night in the Continental Club and uh, I will be kicking myself for the rest of my life. But anyway, famous moments of making a fool out of yourself with uh, beautiful women uh, getting, <laughs> getting your come up Will you hold my purse? Ugh. Yes, little dog. You just went out to pee. I just took you out there in the rain to go pee. Did you not go pee when I took you out there? Are you telling me you didn't go pee and you need to go pee? It's pouring down rain. We, we just went out there, Sancho. Oh, fuck. I just took the goddamn dog out to go pee. What, did I not give you long enough? This is my Saturday night uh, for the second time. We go out into the pouring down rain to uh, take my dog to go pee. Do you really need to go out again? He said, Bob, you didn't give me enough time to go pee. This is what I've been reduced to. Taking my dog out to pee in the pouring down rain on Saturday. I've gone from I've gone from holding Jane Bond's purse at the Continental Club on a Saturday night in South Austin to taking my dog out to piss in the rain for the second time. Get out there and enjoy holding Jane Bond's purse while you still can and uh, look for the return of Vegematic and uh, whoever I'm going to call myself at that other channel here in a few more days. Bye, guys. All right, dog. let's try this a second time. Are you going to go pee this time or not?